Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models, my name is Boy Waldron and welcome to this tutorial where we're going to go off and we're going to take our Apache uh, canopy just here and we're going to show you how to do this holographic rainbow sort of finish to our uh, canopy just here, just to give that um, really sort of nice realistic look, um, what you'll see if you look at some reference photos. So, uh, let's get on. First off is actually getting what you need. This is um, what I got my hands on. Now, it's not very easy to find. I will admit I have been searching around for it, but it's this, it's this, um, it's a, a bit of vinyl. It's this sort of holographic rainbow kind of vinyl. It's see-through as well, so it's clear. So what you stick it on uh, will be clear, see-through, but you'll have that rainbow holographic effect to it. Um, really, really cool, hard to find. I got this off eBay. You're gonna have to do a bit of searching, kind of search for, um, you, you're basically using keywords like, um, it's supposed to be for um, nail foil or something for the nail art kind of thing, but you're looking for um, holographic rainbow clear nail foil um, vinyl, um, that's what you kind of want to search for and you should hopefully come across something like this. I mean, if you guys are really interested, just, I don't know, send me a bell and maybe I'll get some in and stock it in the store if you find it really hard to find. Uh, but let me know if uh, you want that. So first off, we got to take our canopy and what we want to do is just make sure everything is clean, right? Um, anything that goes um if you've got like hair or debris or anything like that you're going to potentially um you know lock it in so i'm using pure ipa right um basically alcohol right and what we're going to do just kind of quickly sort of make sure this is all nice and clean and debris free so just make sure we've got no hairs or anything like that on there so with that all nice and clean, because it's IPA, it'll evaporate pretty, pretty quickly. So we're all ready to throw this on. Um, nice and easy, really. Really, the crucial part of this, um, because it's vinyl, it's it's thin, but it's got, it's a little bit thick, and you're, uh, you're going to want definitely a brand new blade um, on your scalpel just here. Right? And what we're going to do, we can cut out a general kind of size piece like so right and it's kind of fairly easy but what we want to do because it's vinyl nick the wife's hairdryer for a bit um put it on a low setting right this is going to be a bit loud sorry but uh, you put it on a low setting um and what you want to do is just warm it up right not melt it right so i do advise that right, i'll just turn that off is is you you have your finger next to it so if you feel your thumb your fingers kind of getting a bit too hot you know you're getting a bit too close right come back a bit and just warm it up right so um, get that nicely warmed up and then we can just peel this off right and what we want to do is just lay this down very very carefully right like so i'm not going to press it down i don't want to be Pressing it down, that's really sticking to my glove, which is being a bit of a pain. There we go. So I've just laid that down. I've not sort of pressed or anything. And then I'm gonna go at it again. Again, make sure you're not too hot with the hairdryer. Just cut away there, because it is a little bit noisy. So that's all nicely warmed up. Again, keep your hand close. So if you start feeling your hand getting too hot, you, you're getting it too hot. Remember, this is plastic as well. You don't want to be melting your canopy. Be careful. Right, and then what we're going to do is get some uh, cotton wool bud. Right, and this is where we just want to sort of kind of just make sure you can just see, right, you could just see where we have all our pockets of air. And we just want to sort of push them to the side, make sure we've got no air bubbles all right so i'm starting from the middle working my way to those edges all right feel free to kind of like warm it up again and again and again all right 
and then once we get to the corners just going to sort of really sort of try and press those corners in now the next bit is basically if you've ever made your own canopy masks right is what you need to do next right so we've got that pretty nicely down just like so as you can see I mean you know depending on what light you get it in I mean it can just look clear or it could really kind of have like a rainbowy um, holographic effect to it so um, if you've ever done as I say um, canopy your own canopy masks and cutting them I mean this is something like it's a bit hard to show on camera but you want to be putting it up to the light so you can see nicely through it and it's just being very careful starting the corner right you've normally got like a bit of a raised bit like a bit of a um, a guide that you can follow which is like the detail right see if I can do this without the light right which is a bit tricky for me and hopefully I don't mess this up right but without the light as I say you kind of use you can feel like that sort of raised bit there use that as a bit of a guide right with a fresh blade you shouldn't really be pressing down too hard although a little bit more pressure shall I say I don't I'm gonna have to put this up to light. I don't want to I don't want to ruin it but you know you want to put maybe a little bit more pressure than you would when doing um, your own canopy masks right so I'm just running that along there and you just want to run it all the way around now there is a, a tutorial on uh, making your canopy mask on the Genesis models website if you want to have a bit more detail on how to cut that so I've just gone all the way around that now what we should hopefully happen is if we've cut this just nicely if we now just peel this back let's just make sure we're not pulling it up Trying to find a good corner that I've cut. I might have to kind of give this another blast with the cutter. Now oh, there we go, there we go. And we should see this come off fairly, fairly nicely. Although wearing black gloves is good to save on the fingerprints, this stuff does like to stick to your gloves. And there we go. So there we go, that's all nicely cut off. And as you can see, you can see through it, but you get that nice holographic rainbow effect i mean maybe one last sort of go over with you know a cotton wool bud just to make sure everything's all pressed down especially in all those little corner bits and edges yeah just like so now you could if you wanted to to enhance this a little bit more maybe you could dip this maybe or something like that if you wanted to go down that route. Um, I do like, what is it, um, AK Interactive Gay Uzi Agent. This is a good one. You could dip that in there if you wanted to enhance it. I normally don't do it. I'll probably leave it. But as you can see, pretty, pretty cool. So there you go, how to make your own bit of a holographic rainbow effect on your canopies. Um, fairly, fairly easy, um, and it's, it does give you a really, really cool, cool effect. So hopefully you've enjoyed that tutorial, but as always, until next time, my name is Bob Waldron, this is Genesis Models, and I'll catch you later.